So this is my roll-off roof observatory. It's a sky shed, um, sky shed design, <clears throat> pretty much as designed. I made, I don't think any significant modifications. Uh, it is automated. I have a up here. Um, the leftmost thing on that, basically this item here, is a uh, the Lunatico Astro uh, Cloud Watcher. Uh, it's got a, an anemometer attached to it there, and then this thing is my all sky camera. Uh, I don't use that as part of the automation, but I do use it uh, to see what the clouds are doing when I'm observing or imaging. It's very handy. Uh, so the roof rolls off onto this gantry, and inside it's a little crowded. I have three mounts in here, it's an 8 by 10 foot observatory. And there's uh, not quite enough room for all three of these to swing at any in any direction. Um, there are areas where they can overlap, so I need to be a little bit careful when moving them. Um, the roof is controlled uh, via a motor. This is a, uh, a, a gate opening motor using a, a toothed gear. So there's... The, uh, the motor wheel there, and then this uh, rail runs all the way and goes out through a hole in the wall on the south, on the south end. Um, I have turn turnbuckles here that I can use to tie the, the roof down if it gets very windy, but really the design, it's using, you know, we've got the sky shed garage door track here, which uh, holds these wheels in top and bottom. And that works pretty well. Uh, I have also uh, the Cloud Watcher, uh, the Solo, so the AAG Solo, which talks to the Cloud Watcher. It's basically a Raspberry Pi computer uh, that's connected to the Cloud Watcher and uh, lets me manage it uh, and connect to it from various other computers. And it also is connected to the relay switch that comes from the Cloud Watcher, which is this very well connected wire here. That runs over to this wall and to the, uh, the Dragonfly unit, which is the device that controls the, the automation of the, uh, of the roof. So I'll show you how this works. As I said, we have the, the rail coming out here. If I toggle the roof open. See, there was quite a bit of rail extending out through the wall, and that means that there's enough rail to push the roof all the way past the north wall, and then it gets stopped by a limit switch right there. Uh, this little oh, damn it, this little spade. So you can see there is the limit switch there, and it gets triggered by this little ramp. And uh, in a minute or so, actually, the roof will automatically close by itself because right now it's daylight. The Cloud Watcher considers it unsafe and it's set to close the roof automatically uh, if it's unsafe. Um, I also have, uh, where are they now? There's a tilt sensor. Oh, yeah. I have little tilt sensors on each of the mounts. These things here, these will register if the mounts are safe. There's one on each. There's one here. There goes the roof. And then that little blue magnet on the edge there is another one actually right here. And this is, it's like an alarm on a window. It will close and I have this set uh, so that when these are close to each other, the Cloud Watcher knows that the roof is closed. Um, and that works really well. So the Cloud Watcher is happy the roof is closed and uh, doesn't try to move it again. And in fact, I get an alarm uh, if the roof, uh, if it doesn't think the roof is closed properly, it will alert me. Uh, I think that's it. I'll just show you the operation from the outside. Yeah. So I just have this little remote control. Uh, I can open and close the roof from a computer, uh, but for the purposes of the demonstration here, I should do that. 
can see it works quite smoothly. There's some unevenness on one of the tracks. I've, I have to figure out exactly what's causing it to bump every now and then. But uh, yeah, that noise there just needs a little work. So that's now open. And we'll close it again. I have the Cloud Watcher mounted at the end of the gantry because it has a temperature sensor which is strongly affected by the metal roof. Um, and I had it mounted along here, just up like that, but it was reading ridiculously high temperatures, so I moved it to the end of the gantry. And uh, let's fix that problem, which is getting radiant heat from the roof. Anyway, that's my observatory. Hopefully that's useful. Enjoy.